Hey Care Group Leaders, Pastor Kyle here. I want to let you know what's happening in the ministry. The first thing is that we're coming up on the fall, so i got to give you guys a couple of heads up. Um, I know some of you haven't been meeting this summer. If that's the case, please get together, decide when you're going to meet, and uh, aim for September 17th as being the official launch of the fall season. Now, um, we are going to be in a three-week series called Faith and Technology, which I'll talk about in a second, but i got to give you a couple more important details. The first is that um, coming up on September 17th, we're going to start a new series. It's going to be an alignment series or all-in. It's going to be seven weeks long, and so we're asking every care group to go through the series. We're going to have two training uh, dates for you guys. One will be, uh, potentially one will be uh, Sunday. Um, August 27th, uh, directly after the second service, and then the next one will be uh, Thursday, um, September 7th, sometime in the evening. So we want you guys, regardless of your schedule, to be able to make it to one of these trainings. We're going to give you the study guide, explain a little bit about what the Philippians series, this alignment series, is all about. And then the big push for the series is going to be getting people in groups. So if you have a group that has a few open spaces, we're going to ask you on the 17th, after the service ends, to be able to meet with people and welcome some people from your area into your group. So there's a lot of questions I'm sure you have about that. More information is going to be coming your way soon, but wanted to give you a heads up on that. And then, um, so let's talk uh, faith and technology. We're going to be in a short series. Um, usually at this uh, time of year we take a, a brief um, sort of time out of a book of the Bible and just talk topically what's going on in our culture. And so we're going to spend three weeks talking about the intersection of faith and technology. We live in the digital age. We are, uh, have all gone through the technological revolution. Our kids are now digital natives. So what does it look like to honor Jesus, to follow his way of life? with a smartphone, with the internet, with mobile web and video and um, camera, all, all of this, how do we do this? And so uh, this first Sunday, we're going to open up the series. We're going to look at what technology is, how it's baked into the cultural mandate itself, how we can misuse technology and how we can use technology for the glory of God and the good of others. And so as you, um, if you are meeting and you're getting in your groups, here are some questions to ask. The first one, just to kind of engage, get people warmed up to the topic, get people laughing. What was the first cell phone you ever owned? Just talked with Pastor Bruce. He had one of those huge block ones from the 80s. He thought he was the coolest. Anyways, what was your first cell phone? And then what is your favorite piece of technology and why? Great conversation starters there. Then um, on the explore section, you can look at different um, passages in the scripture. How is creation? How is the creation and use of technology commanded to the human race in Genesis 1.28, Genesis 2.5, 10 through 13, and 15 through 16? How is technology then used for sinful purposes, Genesis 11, 1 through 9 in the Tower of Babel? What are some New Testament examples of the use of technology for gospel ministry? How does Matthew 15, 1 through 20 help shape a Christian view of technology where Jesus says out of the overflow of the heart that the mouth speaks? So technology in and of itself may have negative or positive implications, but so much of it is how we shape it and what we do with it. And then uh, probably the most important in your guys' time together is some of these application questions. Is the technology um, I use making it difficult for me to give other people my full and undivided attention. Why are we so easily distracted by technology? Do you habitually use technology as an easy escape and distraction from difficult tasks? Um, the goal here is to define how are we distracted and what on, on the heart level is causing this, this impulse to just pick up the phone or to tune out. What's interesting about technology is that it really kind of uh, comes in the way of two things that are really important. One is solitude, reflection, being alone, allowing our short-term uh, memory to move to our long-term memory, allowing God to speak, allowing us to process our emotions and discover who we really are. I believe it's in Proverbs where it says, um, a man's heart is deep waters and blessed is the one who brings it up. And so take some time, consider how technology might be distracting you and um, strategies for how you can honor God with your phone, with the internet, with your computer, and so on. 
As always, we love you guys. We'll see you on Sunday.